Uh, we have five values, but what, what, another one of our values is win, win, win. Mm. And it's exactly that. If we're not prepared to delve into the relationship between our client and our VA, mm. then what are we here for? Mm. That's our role. And I, you know, Jules, I, I really will commend you and your business partner, Basil, yeah. Uh, for the fact that you guys come with this sort of mindset into a business environment, because I do feel that a lot of the, you know, the VA uh, companies really have a bit this sort of, we're up in the ivory tower, we got these workers, our troops, our slaves working for, and then we're just going to, you know, patch him up and, you know, connect them with one company and another, and they really treat him like, you know, a commodity. So if the, if the VA is a company already comes in with a mindset of like that, it's very hard for them to put in the right care to ensure that the VAs will also get their needs met and therefore are willing to contribute the most value they can, right? And you guys have really, really nailed that piece. There are, there are a lot of companies out there, Bram, that, same as us, treat the VAs with respect, um, treat people and their teams as respect. There are some companies, as you say, the uh, you know um, larger ones that are a bit more churn and burn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are in any you know in any corporate world, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are some good companies out there that are doing the right thing, and that's our main thing: is doing the right thing by our team and growing our team, uh, instilling the culture within our team, um, having those type of values. Um, uh, one of our values is no soggy pizza. Mm. <laughs> well, it is a very work? strange value to have, <laughs> but I love it. It's uh, uh, you can you can go to a restaurant, you can order a pizza, you can have it a million times. It can be great, but if the waiter or the waitress one day comes along and just sort of throws it on the table, yeah, it kind of ruins the experience. Or if you order a takeout from that restaurant. And the motor, the delivery driver has been whizzing around the corners and stuff. And, and suddenly you get to your house, you're used to having this pizza that's absolutely beautiful. And now it's all squished up the sign. It's soggy pizza. It's a bad experience. So one of our values that we look out for, for our clients, for ourselves and for VAs, uh, is no soggy pizza. That's great. Yeah. Uh, different. It's a different one. Um how, if I if I can bring it again back to your business on its own, we're not even talking the, the various companies that you you basically place VAs into, but in your yeah. own business, you know, talk a little bit more about how you guys really look after that culture and really allow people to feel great and therefore you know drive high performance as well. Oh, uh, the key is um, visual as well as communication. Mm. Yeah, as well as good systems and structure and procedure. So uh, regularly, um, every single day, we have a daily huddle like this on Zoom with our team. We can all eyeball each other face to face. uh, What we're going through from one day, what we went through yesterday, what we're going to go through today, uh, that communication is invaluable. So the fact that... uh, you know, somebody can be overseas thousands of miles away, right? Um, you're quite a few kilometers away from me right now, but we could, through through Zoom and through technology, uh, it's we're sat in the same office. Makes no difference whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, this is the same as um, companies that have offices in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Darwin, uh, and Brisbane all jumping on a video conference together. Well, whether you're in the Philippines, in Canada, in the States, here, France, Spain, you're all in one business. Mm. It makes no difference. So um, that's the first and foremost is the communication on a daily basis, if possible, because if you were all in the same office, you wouldn't walk past somebody and not speak to them. Of course you Yeah. So bring that home. Uh, That communication is key. Having the right uh, systems and structure in place then uh, and empowering people. Yeah. To actually carry out those tasks. So once you've shown them. Right. Having a methodology of um, 
capturing what you've shown them, mm. yeah, uh, for all time. Uh, that is what helps with carrying out the productivity. <laughs>